I've been working on a robot for a few months now, and one of the first important design decisions was how to have the brains of the robot, which would be an iOS device, interface with the body of the robot. This is the robot in question, and uh, I can turn on the lights, for example, uh, back it up, move it forward. Um, and the, the question of how to get the, uh, the iOS device to talk to the hardware involved, for example, uh, perhaps a blue, uh, red park cable or Bluetooth or a Wi-Fi shield, all of which were more expensive than I wanted for this particular robot. And so the subject of this video is how to interface inexpensively and easily between an iOS device and hardware. The parts that you'll need, if you're going to follow along with this demonstration, are two phototransistors, two ceramic capacitors, one microfarad, two TIP 120s, a uh, uh, 1K and 10K resistors, a uh, 1N4004 diode or similar, and of course a bunch of jumper cables. This is the app that I'll use to demonstrate the technology. Basically it uh, just has two lights down here which will uh, may match up with the uh, two phototransistors in this little holder. So, uh, and then uh, they'll, uh, it's basically a sort of a PWM which goes from 100% to 0% um, at any rate. So here it is in the holder. I'll uh, go ahead and start it. You can see both mo motors turning, and as I turn this down, one of the motors will turn slower and ultimately stop. Uh, same on the other side. So I've stopped both motors. There's a schematic on the website, on the blog. I'll go through one of these uh, so that you can see how it's laid together. So each motor controller is comprised of a, a TIP120, a capacitor, and a diode, and a uh, base resistor. The output from the Arduino comes from digital pin 6 and 7, and this is in the sketch. So a very straightforward uh, setup here. The, uh, the base resistor for the TIP120 is a 1K and the, the pull-down resistors, unsurprisingly, are 10K. It may be worth mentioning that the, uh, the capacitor and the diode are there to uh, catch uh, noise from the motor and uh, prevent uh, back EMF from the motor from affecting the uh, Arduino. Uh, but the, the key to the technology is these phototransistors and the pull-downs. So the only thing that's happening here is the phototransistor is adjacent to that lighted area on the, uh, the iOS device screen. And so the resistance is changing. And uh, the pull-down basically just uh, pulls the, uh, the analog pin down to zero via this 10K resistor. So as the resistance varies, the uh, number of millivolts coming into the A0 and A1, the two analog pins that are used, changes, and that can be detected in the sketch. Uh, so as it, when, they, when the input gets above a certain number of millivolts, it, uh, it knows that the light is on, on the um, adjacent to the phototransistor, and then the sketch can turn the output pin on. So very, very uh, inexpensive to do this, the phototransistor and the pull-down together cost perhaps 20 cents, so uh, uh, maybe just over. Uh, additionally, it has uh, complete isolation between the iOS device and the, the rest of the circuit because uh, effectively you're using the screen of the iOS device as one half of a uh, opto-isolator. A shopping list, a schematic, a, the Arduino sketch, and the source for the iOS app will all be available on the iSpot blog. A, a link will be included in the video description. I hope the video was of use to you, and thanks for watching.